Welcome back guys. Okay, it, that time has arrived. It's time to go completely crazy apeshit, batshit, bananas and build wild, wild things. Right, I've just researched the charcoal kiln. What are we going to do next? So we've done everything in heating now. That's very cool. Um, I've done everything that I want to do in here. I will do the others just to, for completeness, but everything that I want is done. Done the charcoal kiln. What's the charcoal kiln thermostat? Produce 33% more coal. Whoa, it's kind of nice. Um, I'm probably going to carry on with that. Is there anything that I want over here? I am going to. I am going to do infirmaries at some point. I think. Well, let's finish this. Uh, let's finish this off. I guess. So, go. All right. So, what am I going to do that's so freaking crazy? Well, I, I've been looking at the whole crater and thinking. Well, okay. How would I want to lay out like an entire city? And I've come up with some fairly crazy ideas. And the first crazy idea is to put uh, a ring of resource depots all the way around the outside. It's going to be like a Dyson sphere of resource depots. So let's start the process, shall we? This is going to take a while. Now, I've discovered that there is actually another wall drill here. And since I don't know at this point whether I want to, want to have that drill or not, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that section. Uh, you know what? I'll start. I'll go. I'll go around the other way. Because there's no way we've got enough materials to do the whole thing. So, but the like the I mean the idea is to make this city look totally epic, and I think having a ring of these around the outside is gonna be a nice start. But we're gonna be using the parks and the gardens and. All that kind of stuff. There's going to be a presidential palace. <laughs> oh, yeah. Presidential palace. Oh, yeah. And I think that's going to look pretty epic. Uh, let's put, a, I guess, a few more of these in. Uh, that's probably enough for now. Then we want a road. Uh, am I going to put the road around the outside or around the inside? I think I'm going to put the road around the inside. Yeah, let's put the road around the inside, I think. Even though I've got it a bit around the outside there. I'll probably put it both sides, to be honest. You know what? Let's put it both sides. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, and link it up at this point. I'll put some I'll put some in between. Actually, that's a good point. Because uh, I don't know what intervals I'm going to have. I'm probably going to do all of them, but... I don't know. It will depend how it actually looks, so... Let's say, uh, don't put that bit in for now. Alrighty, should we crack on with this now? Right, let's start getting some stuff done. All right, we're just about to get to our first destination with our scouts, boom. The Frozen River, yeah, which is a landmark. And we've uncovered the Barren Hollow. Sounds to me like another landmark. Yep, another landmark, oh great, go. And, Keep going. What we got? We've got two hours till these guys get there. Oh, all of our people are going out. There's a lot of people going to get sick tonight. Scouts have reached the frozen pot, but I don't care, <laughs> frankly. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, okay, so this is a landmark. Okay, so we've got the Desolate Valley and Cracked Ice. So let's see. Cracked Ice is a landmark, and that's a landmark as well. Great. Well, let's go out to the Cracked Ice, I guess, first. And keep going. Yeah, look, the entire the entire city's going out to build these things. They're all going to get absolutely freezing cold. Let's see. Well, actually, we didn't get any sick people. That's weird. Oh, oh, great! Steam cores seizing. The, the wild weather brought an unexpected effect. Airborne ice crystals penetrated the lubrication systems of all steam cores. The efficiency of all steam core buildings and automatons will be reduced by 90%. Oh, you're kidding me. All right. So, uh, let's see what that's done to our consumption. Yeah. Now we're not producing enough coal. Oh, good. 
Oh, good. I'm so happy about that. Uh, yeah. You know what? I've got um, I've got ten extra workers. I'm going to put them in that steam sawmill to get me some more wood. I think. Uh, oh, hang on. We've got yeah, we've got one engineer. That engineer can go in there. Uh, as soon as I start doing something cool, it throws this at me. Oh man. Uh, let's see. Now this is a steam coal thumper, isn't it? It is. So this is producing far more than two gathering posts can deal with. So we've actually got masses of coal there. So I think, uh, have I got, no, I need one more. Let's take another guy out of there. Let's get those guys in there. Cause the, the steam wall drill is gonna be doing like virtually nothing now. This is, yeah, 1.9 per hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Well, fortunately, we've got some nice rations. So we can boost things up by um, by giving out some rations. So let's boost uh, let's boost our gathering pits on our coal thumpers. Uh, what else can we boost up? Uh, people need to get back to work. They're all, all off doing other things. That's dead bodies. Uh, what else? Do I want to boost up the steel production? You know what? Yeah, what? why not? Let's boost up. Uh, why can't I click on that building? There, thank you. Let's boost that up. We'll, now, that is that a steam? Yeah, that's a steam coal thumper. So let's boost that and that. Anything else that we want to boost? I think that's probably it. I think that's probably it for now. All right, cool. Uh, go. Uh, what's that done to my consumption? Oh, now we're actually holding on. All right, we'll survive. We've got the charcoal kiln thermostat researched. Let's get, um, what do I want now? I don't know. Uh, I want research, don't I? Yeah, research. Uh, charcoal kiln bellows. Charcoal kilns will produce another 33% more. All right, do that. Oh, these guys are waiting. Uh, oh, wood and raw food. An unlucky scout. And we've discovered the circle of stones and the rock gate. All right. Now, circle of stones, I know, has got people. What's the rock gate? Okay, that is just a landmark. Do I go and get some more people? I think I probably do. Um, bim, 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 bim. Yeah, go up to the circle of stones. Okay. Keep going. How are we doing with our, with our crazy... Dyson Sphere thing. Answer. <laughs> yeah, God, I wonder how long it's going to take them to actually build all that. A uh, very long time, probably. We've got the charcoal kiln bellows done. God, we're rattling through this. What else? Um, let's do let's do an infirmary. I won't be able to build them because I've got any steam cores, but but might as well get it researched, I suppose. Let's go. Okay, so we've reached the Barren Hollow. We've got the Ice Obelisk and a Buried Dreadnought. All right, um, Buried Dreadnought, that's gonna be a piece of the past, which I'm really not too bothered about. That's another landmark. Let's go to the, go to the landmark, go on. And then over here we've got the Cracked Ice. Oh, Mountainside Cave. Now that sounds promising. Mountainside Cave. Yeah, go over there. Find find Blim and Steam cores or something. It's probably going to be people, I'm guessing. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, let's slide down again. Keep going. Right, all I need to really keep an eye on is, um, is the consumption. And the consumption at the moment is okay. What's going on over here? Another Hulk sighted. Captain, yes, we, we saw it. We saw it. We found it. Yeah, our scouts saw it before you did. Don't go showing off. All right. We have got a couple of hungry people, but we've got millions of rations. That's not a problem. Oh, my God. We're actually getting something built. Oh, we, we've actually got a bunch of them built. Cool. Oh, I need to put a road around this side, don't I? Yep. Let's put the road around there. And I guess we'll do the road around this side as well. There we go. Oop, go. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, we're getting it built. We're getting it built. 
All right, we've researched the infirmary. What are we gonna do next? We're gonna do, um, what's this one? This one is employees for your people. This one is heal people faster. Let's do, well, we'll just do both of them. <laughs> so why am I, why am I even faffing around? Scouts have reached the ice obelisk. What's this, letter of thanks? Hope will rise slightly, cool. Um, talking of hope, let's boost the hope up again. Let's do a patrol. And we'll do uh, propaganda, hope will rise, ching. What a, what a hopeful group we are. So what have we got? We've got a distinct spot in, carry on. Oh, we've got overturned sled. Now, the overturned sled, if it's the same as last time, should lead to the, the actual sled, which gave a steam cause, I think. Mountain watchtower. Ooh. Ooh, that's new. Mountain, oh, we've got to go to the mountain watchtower. Go. And then you, yeah, you found survivors. Escort the survivors to the city. We've got 20 workers, 18 engineers, and 10 kids, which is not too bad. Um, so, do I bring them back? Yeah, I think we escort them back. Yeah, escort them back. We're moving quickly, so we should have time to maybe get out here again. We'll see. Okay. Let's see. Well, mind you, I say that we've only got one, two, we've only got three days. Wow. Okay. Right, well, these get to where they're going in one hour. Uh, boom. Uh, wood and raw food. Oh, is that all? Really? On the verge of collapse. This cave could collapse at any moment. Ruined hut, empty campsite. So, ruined hut, empty campsite. Yep, um, that's a landmark. That's a landmark. Hmm. How long is it gonna take you to get back to winter home, is the question. Oh, sorry, winter sky. Uh, 22 hours, oh man, no problem, no problem. Go, go to the ruined hut. It'll take you 11 hours to get there. Alrighty, go. Um, I'm thinking our coal's probably dropped down a bit. Yeah, I need to, if I can yet, boost up our gathering huts. Now I can put some more gathering huts in, but we haven't got people to man them. That's the problem. Uh, now I can't boost them yet, but we've got like 5,000 coal, so we've got a bit of a buffer. Go. Uh, what now? Have you slowed down again? I don't know. Keep going. Oh man, this is, this steam core seizing is a nightmare. Uh, infirmary mechanism research. Let's do infirmary checklist so that we heal people faster. Go. Oh, we've got something going on down here. What's this? Serious accident, sir, it's been a serious accident. An automaton has stepped on a man. Slow down the automatons. Nope. Can't afford it. Keep going. Alrighty, how are we doing with our stupid thing? Uh, still loads and loads to build. We are getting, we are getting them built. They are getting done slowly but surely. And he got stepped on by a, an automaton. So, um, why is everybody starving? What the hell's up with this? This is close at this time of day. Fine, but. Oh no, no, we've got, we got loads of rations. What's it for? Oh, I guess because they've just like gone out there doing that kind of stuff. When they come home, hopefully they'll eat. Uh, oh, we've got this done, so ruined hut. That gives us a buried hamlet. Ooh, carry on. Um, buried hamlet, we've got the empty campsite. So I guess we'll go to the buried hamlet. Seems to be some kind of small settlement half buried in the snow, so I'm guessing that's going to be more survivors. Go. Uh, so how much uh, how much room have I got for people? We've got room for 74. So, yeah, got loads. Loads of room. 19 in care houses. Oh, ni uh, 19 of the vacant beds are in care houses, so um, we've actually got like 50, 55. Okay, but that's enough for the people we're bringing in, isn't it? So, like, 
Uh, 30, 48. Yeah, perfect, in actual fact. Go. Oh, it's all, it's all getting done. Okay, temperature's dropping by 10 degrees. But we should still be all right everywhere, I would have thought. Yeah, we're fine. Everything's warm. Cool. Keep going. Wow. This is going to like... To do what I'm planning to do... Oh my God, it's going to take a long time to get built. Infirmary checklist is done. Is there anything else? Um, so that, we've done the whole thing. So I think all that's left, we've done everything on there. We've done everything on heating. So all that's left is these three. Um, engineer automatons. Well, I suppose, yeah. They can be used to... I mean... We're, we're not going to be using them in workshops because we'll have finished all the research. But factories? I mean, I suppose, maybe. Come on, we'll do it. We'll do We'll do all of them. What the hell? Why not? Uh, we've reached the mountain. Oh, this is the one. The mountain watchtower. What's this? Oh, come on. Really? Wooden raw food? The wooden watchtower creaks slightly in the wind. The shack at its base has no heating. Nobody could have survived here for long. We found several frozen bodies in the shack. Whoever, the, whoever these people were, they weren't ready for the cold. We'll take their supplies. They're not going to need them. All right, we've got a bit of wooden food. Yeah, right, steam cores is what I wanted. Oh, the overturned sled. Now that, that I'm pretty sure had steam cores. Yeah. So I think 24 hours to get there. How much time have we got? Uh, we've got one, two... So a day to get there and a bit more than a day to get back. Yeah, we should just be, just about be okay. All right. I should have just gone over here in the first place. Go. All righty. And then we've got two hours for these guys. So let's, let's move it along. Oh, the scouts have returned safely to the city. Hooray. Uh, now, am I going to send them out again? I, well... Desolate Valley. How far? How far would that be? That's a day five hours. Um, yeah, go on, go out there. I mean, it's a, it's a landmark. The question is whether there's anything close by that they could maybe get to and get back. Um, Rock Gate is too too far away, I think, by the look of it. Uh, two hours for these guys. So uh, I've now got a bunch more people. Hooray! So I suppose what I should do is maybe get a couple of extra gathering huts put in. So let's get, what do I want? Gathering huts. Uh, not health. Not people. Resources. Gathering posts. Here we go. So I've got two gathering posts there. So we want a couple of gathering posts on this side. Boom. And boom. That's the steam coal thumper. That's the pit, it's got a thousand in, awesome. We need a bit of a road going around the outside like that. All right, cool. So we need to get those built. Now, can we? Can you prioritize? Oh man, what are the chances of these getting built within the next millennium? Because they're they're building this, I don't know, we'll see. There's There is no way to prioritize them, is there? Don't think so. Um, let's turn that up. Let's turn that up. Okay, go. Uh, that needs an extra person. Twenty. There. Mind you, we're gonna have a load of extra engineers, aren't we? I've already got a load of extra engineers. What can my engineers be doing? Well, five of them can work in there. So that's now maxed out. Uh, we could have another five working in there. What's going on here? Stuck automaton. So an automaton has entangled itself in its assigned building. Can't free it without at least partially dismantling one or the other. Shut down the automaton or shut down the steam coal mine. Well, neither of them's doing a whole hell of a lot, so. Um, shut down the automaton for 12 hours, that's fine. Go. Scouts have reached the buried hamlet. Now, what's this? Yes, survivors. Explore. 
We've got 15 kids, 12 engineers, 20 workers. Yep, get them back to the city. How long is that going to take you? One day, three hours, that's fine. That's fine. I, want, I actually want steam cores rather than survivors, but it is what it is. Now, that does mean I'm going to need some more houses going on. So I think for now, how many, how many people is that going to be? That's another 32, 37, 47. So I need another five houses going on. Now, these are not going to be all in range. But to be honest, it doesn't kind of matter because I'm, I'm actually going to redo. I'm basically... I think I'm probably going to knock down almost every building with my redesign plan. So houses going in. Um, I just need them in range of the of the steam hub so that they're warm. That's two. That's three. And is it in range? Yeah, it's in range of the steam hub there around the back. So let's pop in a couple around the back as well. There we go. Awesome. Oh, need a bit of a road. Let's do, let's do a road going up there. Make sure that that links through. Yeah, it does. Cool. We've got that going around there. Okay, cool. Oh, no, I've got to do the ones on this side as well. Oops. So let's do... And... And there. There we go. All right. Get all that lot built. Engineer automatons researched. Cool. Next, medical automatons. These are the last two, aren't they? They're definitely the last two. I've done everything on there. Yes. Resources, absolutely everything. Heating, absolutely everything. Yep. Last two. Medical automatons. Go. Alrighty. Um, I should do... Uh, if I can, if I can, uh, yeah, here we go, foreman. We should do a foreman boost on our gathering posts. So let's do those, and these are because we're down to we're under four thousand backup coal. Do that one and do that one. Got loads of rations. Uh, steel? Do I want to keep banging out the steel? And I'm thinking probably yes. So let's boost that one. I don't know why it won't let me click on this building. And I want to boost the wood as well. How much have we got? We've got like 1,400 wood left in there. Go. Alrighty. So let's go. Let's do it. Not 75 hungry people again. You know what? Um, it's closed at this time of day. Yeah, because it's 10 o'clock at night, which is fair. I should maybe boost. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder why. I suppose it's because they're going out to the the outer rim to build all this stuff, rather than uh, rather than going to eat. Which is a bit of a problem, but hey, it's what it is. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, um, something just happened there. What happened? Maybe it was just a building going in. I don't see any... No, I don't see anything. Keep going then. Uh, they're getting these houses built. Now that's good news. Oh, and they've got these built, which means I can get workers in there, workers in there, do a foreman boost and a foreman boost. Cha-ching. Now, now our coal should actually be well up. Yeah, no worries. And that's with our coal mine producing virtually nothing. In fact, it's producing actually nothing at the moment because they didn't put the automaton back in there. So you should get back in there. And the other one should... Actually, um, should I leave them? I might as well leave them out of there and so that they can go and do building stuff. Where's the, where's the wall drill? Yeah. I might as well take you out of there. You can go, go and do some go and do some building. So we've got three automatons available. Cool. Go. Because they won't. Although nobody's getting cold going out and doing this building, so. Uh, we've got the temperature dropping to minus 80 now. Storm on the horizon. Yeah, I'm fully aware. Need to get our guys back. These guys are headed 
to the overturned sled. That's five hours. Let's uh, let's let's get on to that. I suppose I should have a quick check on the temperatures, but minus 80, we should be okay, shouldn't we? Um, the steam coal thumper's a bit chilly. All right, well, we'll turn the heater on for you. Uh, hang on, what time is it? 7.20. Yeah, you're on extended hours. Is the, is the, are the people there? Ah, oh, they're all going to build. So maybe that doesn't need to be on yet. Yeah, these are all chilly. If the people, they're going to work. All right, let's let's run it on a little bit. Yeah, there are people now in these buildings and they're still chilly. Yeah, working, working. All right, let's uh, let's turn those on. Uh, that's the one. That's got that's got nothing in it at the moment. That's got nothing in. But the steam coal thumper. Yeah, I guess. We'll turn the heaters on there, and we've got people in there, so we'll turn those on. Cool. Uh, the guard towers are a bit chilly. Uh, why? Why isn't that warm? Oh, maybe there's no workers there yet. Going to rescue. Ah, oh, there's nobody there yet. What about this one. Uh, this one. Oh, I can do a uh, patrol. Let's do a patrol. Workers going to be. Oh, yeah. Now, you see, that's warm. Yeah, there we go. That's better. And that's still... Yeah, no workers. Nine o'clock in the morning. Stop building. Go to work. Medical automatons is done. I think this is the last one. 20% more efficient. Go. That's it. That's all the research. Now, once the research is done, am I going to rip these out? Yeah, I probably am. But I am going to be using these as kind of decorative buildings because I love the fact that when you when you put them next to each other um, they link up like this and having several linked together can look really cool so I'm going to be playing around with this woman in, in despair a woman is sitting in the snow pit holding her dead husband's hand crazy woman crying her heart out perhaps you should have agreed to give people proper burials nah did what I had to do we will do we you know we will do we will, I don't know we probably will do that at some point, but we're not going to do it now. Let's see. I've got three automatons. I've got eight engineers that I don't really have too much of a use for. Uh, well, well I, can, I can max the public house out. That leaves me with six. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's replace the guards with engineers and put the workers. We can put a couple of workers in there. Anywhere else we need some workers. Um, you know what? I tell you what we need. We're going to need some more food coming in, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Oh, this because this thing is producing virtually no food at the moment. That's a good point. That's a very good point. So I actually need to get some workers. Which means um, I need to steal some engineers. You know what? That's the last research, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Finish the last bit of research. Boom. That's it. Then I've got all of those guys free. So let's have a look. Woohoo! The end of the research tray. It's all done. Oh, no. I am done up to my prosthesis. Am I going to? <laughs> like. Uh, you know, uh, I'll do it for completeness. I'll do it for completeness. So do that but I'm gonna free up some some engineers that can they can take the time doing that so let's get let's get like 15 engineers out of here we'll leave we'll leave a couple running so I need to free up some workers where uh, maybe the maybe the sawmill all right let's put engineers in there and that gives me 10 workers who can go and bring us some food awesome source um, I'm thinking about upgrading another one of those, but you know what? I think we'll be fine for the moment. Uh, we've got some people here. Explore. Oh, just some steel. So we didn't get any... Oh, man. This type, this this storm cycle, we didn't get any steam cores. What the hell is this out here? Mountain watch. Oh, okay. These guys need to get back to base. ASAP. Right. How long to get back to base? Uh, one day and eight hours. Yeah, one day and eight hours? 
Oh, just. Okay, so they... Let's see. So they're on the way back. They're fine. They're almost back. They're bringing those people. So I need to, uh, oh, I've already built those houses, haven't I? Yeah. And you lot... No, that's you lot uh, going out to the Desolate Valley. I will probably just bring you back. So let's... Uh, Let's see what they find, I guess. And bingo. What did you... Ice needles. Oh, steam lorry. Now, that'll be steam cores. Oh, man. Ice needles. That's a landmark. But that steam lorry. How long to get there? A heavy steam lorry. That's got to be steam cores. 19 hours. Now, how long is it going to take you to get back from there? 15 hours. And we've got... Uh, so, let's see. That's 24 hours. Till 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 6 now. So, we've got 8, 15. So, we've got about 39 hours. I'm going to try it, you know. I'm going to try it. Steam lorry, go. <laughs> this is going to go badly wrong. You just know it is. All right. Uh, how are we doing on the coal front? On the coal front, we're doing fine. Temperature front, we're doing fine. And how are we doing on the building front? Where's where's our where's our crazy project that I've just started? Look, look. I've only done from there to there. So that's what, like. Is that even a quarter? I don't think that's it. Is it even a quarter? Yeah, it's probably just about a quarter. <laughs> My God. This is going to be a huge, huge project. And then there's going to be an inner... Uh, oh, I'll, 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 tell, I'll tell you about it when I actually do it. Right, go. Uh, I'm going to need every second with some of these guys. So these guys have returned. Hooray. Bit of wood, bit of food, pause. Bit of, wood, bit of food and all that kind of stuff. So have I got everybody ho housed? Yes. I've got 29 vacant beds, which is cool. Uh, you lot can now be disbanded, can't you? Yeah. So let's disband them. Cha-ching. Oh, this is going to be... It's going to be brutal. Go. We've got the temperature dropping another level tomorrow. And at that point, I'm going to probably have to turn all the heaters on. It's these, these guys that I'm concerned about. Marfra, a citizen became gravely ill. We've got a... We've got a cold building somewhere. Uh, let's see. We've got, the, we've got the public house running. We've got the heaters on in these. Uh, oh, probably the, maybe the industrial hothouse. I don't know. That's warm enough. Oh, no, the industrial hothouse. Have we, have we got people? Yeah, we've got people working in there. That's probably, that's probably where. I don't know, we'll see. Go. They'll chop his leg off and we'll get him a prosthesis at some point. All right, what are we doing? We've got seven hours for those guys. Let's blitz on. Temperature's going to drop at seven. Is there, is there a warning message somewhere? I heard a sound effect, but I, I'm not sure what it's for. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Keep going. So, temperature's dropped. Let's have a look at the temperatures. So, I've got... Maybe I should just turn all the freaking heaters on. Uh, oh, I need the... You know what? I think it's the gathering posts, maybe. That was an automaton. Nobody in the factory. They're all fine. All of those heaters are on, except that one. Let's just let's just turn all the heaters on at this point. Uh, so we want all the heaters on there. And we definitely want them on in the steel, steel factories as well. Right, I think we're done. I think we're done. Now, I have got, like, another 26 workers, which means that, let's see, we've got 
coal thumper there. It's only got two gathering posts. So we need to put in another couple of gathering posts. Where are we? Resources, gathering post. So if we put in that one there, one there, put in a bit of a road around the outside. Uh, now, why can't I put a road around there? What the hell? I've got 620 wood. Uh, according to that, I don't. Minus four wood. Yeah, okay, fine. Why can't I put a road across there? What? Is it because of the coal pit or something? Okay, that's really seriously weird. I've never, I've never noticed that before. Uh, let's put a road, guys, like around them then. But why can't I put a road through there? That's weird. What about if I go that way? Okay. Seriously, what the hell is up there? I mean, that's just between two buildings. Why can't I put a road in there? Weird. All right, never mind. <laughs> Never mind, let it get done. All right. Um, five of our people died. What? Oh, they didn't beat the storm. It was the ones going to the steam lorry, wasn't it? Oh, but they were waiting there, and it was just because I was too slow to get them. God damn it! Ah, uh, now how frustrating is that? You know what? It is what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to stress about it. I, I mean, okay, I lost five people. Yeah, big deal. That's that's the job that they do. The these guys. Where are you, by the way? Yeah, you are on your way back. Oh, <laughs> racing against time. I knew going out to that steam lorry was a little bit dodgy. but um, Okay, so we've done the process. So that's it. That is it now. Officially, all the research is complete. There is no more. So, uh, where is the... Here we go. So we can get these last engineers out. Um... There is no use for them once they're once they're done. So I guess we just rip this stuff out for now. Yeah, go on, rip it out. And you and you and you go. Alrighty, so we've actually got now we've got like loads of people to do all kinds of things. And go. So as they get this built. We'll get some more people in for coal. And 10 people going to that. And 10 people going to that. I've got 28 of engineers who are sitting around doing nothing. Oh, I can put five into that hospital. Not that, not that they're actually needed, but because we've only got four sick people, but hey. Um, I could, for example, get more hunters going out, but we're actually okay. How long on this? One day, 15 hours, and that goes away, and then everything's back to normal. How are we doing on the coal? On the coal, we are staying ahead of the coal, which is amazing. Thanks to those, uh, thanks to those stumpers. We're almost full on steel. So, I'll tell you what, why don't we put in a bit of steel storage? Uh, should I stop from this then? Maybe. Uh, so let's put steel and steel. Cool. All right, go. What's going on now? These guys are racing against the storm to get back. They're almost back. And bingo. They've arrived back safely. Yeah, brought some stuff. That's cool. And we want to disband them, don't we? Yeah, we do. Disband and go. Severe frostbite. A citizen had to have a limb amputated. Yeah. Where's, um... Going home. From where? Where are you? Select you.
Hmm. The advanced steelworks. Well, that's closed now, so that doesn't tell me anything. So I wonder why. I wonder why you got frostbite. Oh, hang on a second. These two houses are cold. I would have sworn they were in range when I put them in. I mean, seriously. I would swear that the steam hub went white when I was checking. Not down there. Okay, well, what I'm going to have to do is just up the range. There we go. Now they're warm. Hooray. How is my housing situation? 34 beds. Okay. Go. That's a shame. Poor guy lost his leg because I didn't check on that. <laughs> God, when you put it in those terms, it's a little bit brutal. Uh, keep going, keep going. We're, we've got the, the storm actually hitting tomorrow. I've got rid of the scouts. Yes, we're okay on coal. Our consumption is fine. And and this, that's without... I, I could do foremans now to boost everything up, but I just don't need to. We've got food just about. That's going to resolve in a day. Then we'll have food again. Uh, I should take those guys out. Oh, they're almost back. They're going to get back before the storm hits. Oh, get back before the storm hits. And... Cha-ching, they did, right. Let's take you out of there then. So, no workers in there. Right, that should give us enough rations to last through the first part of the storm. It's it's now war, minus 100. Uh, we're, so we're okay on the coal. How are the temperatures? Well, the, the thing is I can't really do much about the temperatures. Uh, we've got to survive two days. So I think what I'll probably do is put the put the overdrive on tonight. But all of our workplaces seem to be fine. That's the pub that's not open till the evening. Oh, uh, need to put the tiles in there. Oh, almost missed those two. That would have been bad. All right, I think we're fine now. Okay, go. Gotta keep an eye on here. See if see if it comes up telling me people are freezing. Doesn't seem to be a problem at the moment. Everybody's been fed. Good. What's this? We've got long hours of toil. No, not going to address that. Thanks very much. That you know what? That is going to get addressed at some point. Oh, let's do, let's do that, and a patrol. Boom. Boost our hope up again. Keep the discontent down. Go. I want to, you know, after I've done this like crazy mega city, I want to do another one with faith because I think faith could be even better. Uh, what's going on now? So we're coming up to the end of the workday. Yeah, so now let's pop on the overdrive. And now everything should get really warm. Yep, everything is toasty again. All right, cool. Except the kids, because like, like what the hell. All right, now tomorrow it's going to go down to, what is it? Yeah, minus 120. So it's just a question of whether the whether the overdrive will last till the temperature soars. Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's keep a close eye on it. Okay, well, we've got through to seven o'clock in the morning, so we've got to last 24 hours. I think we will. How, how are the temperatures? <laughs> the, oh, the temporary hazard has passed and its negative effects no longer apply. We're back to normal for now. Okay, cool. Which means that we can get the automaton back in that factory. We can get the automaton back in... Sorry, that's a, that's a steam... That's a coal mine. We can put him back in the steam coal mine. And we can put him back in the wall drill. Alrighty, so... Everything's back to normal. Alright, go. Can we blitz through the last bit of the storm... It's all just a race against the, it's the generator versus the storm. How are the temperatures? Oh, but it's only chilly, which when you consider it's a minus 120, is not too bad. We are eight o'clock at night. Oh, we're gonna be out of the last. 
We've got, yeah, man, we had a few sick people, but they're all getting cured. It's not a problem. Oh, we are two o'clock in the morning. Oh, man, we're going to have to drop it down. I, you know what? I actually thought it would last a little bit better than that. Um, okay. Oh, how cold is it going to get? Answer, freaking cold. Really, really freaking cold. I should. I guess I shouldn't have had it on during the day. We've only got to last like three hours. So, you know what? I'm going to give it a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to put the overdrive back on again. Go. Oh, we're at five o'clock. We've got to get through to seven o'clock. Go. Oh, the thing is, I don't know. I don't know exactly how high it can go. We're at six o'clock. Ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off for like a few minutes and then turn it back on again. Go, and that'll get us through to seven o'clock. And bingo, seven o'clock, the temperature starts to drop, everything's really warm, turn off the overdrive, and you know what? That's gonna be it for this episode. Good Lord. I thought this episode was gonna be a bit of a breeze and it was all gonna be out building and stuff, and then you get that, all your steam cores are screwed. Kinda of throws a bit of a spanner in the works, but now, hopefully we won't get that again. We've, um, we've got all of our storage, so I can really start ramping up. And, um, well, I say, like, we've got all of this built, but now, hopefully, we can start doing loads more building and stuff, because we've actually got spare people to do loads of building. So, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're kind of um, interested to see what happens with this, like, mega city in the future. I'll catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.